Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how to set up a switch outdoor. This is the commercial gray PLE switch. When we decide this switch, we suppose that you are going to use this switch indoor with the AC controlled. You still can place this switch outdoor or in some harsh environment like the basement, but it may shorten the use life. Not only because the ring, the moisture could damage the switch, more importantly, it's the temperature. The temperature will increase sharply in summer, especially the hot air cannot be let out. You see the power source built in, it will, in, it will generate the hot air. So we will need a dedicated outdoor PoE switch to use for outdoor. Okay, now let's move to the demonstration and I will show you what kind of switch we can use in the outdoor. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. This is the outdoor PoE switch we mentioned. It can stand a high range temperature up to 60 degrees, so there are no problem to place this switch outdoor. It's also IP67 waterproof, you can just bury the switch underground if you want. The power source is built into this switch, so I just can connect this switch directly to the AC power outlet. And the switch will supply the PoE to the, like this IP camera, now the camera is live. I also can connect additional device such like this outdoor access point from Cisco. This switch, the, the, this access point also support PoE. And the next thing is about the distance. The maximum distance from this switch to the camera, like the edge device, is about 300 feet. So this camera or the access point doesn't need to just stay close to this switch. It could be one, it could be 300 feet far from the switch. And the distance from this switch to the main router is also 300 feet. And you may wonder why we have second switch. This is second one. It looks quite similar, only this PoE switch doesn't have power source built in. But it can be powered by another PoE injector or PoE switch just next to the router. What's that supposed to mean? Let's say we don't have AC power source at the edge, like this one. So let's just remove the power from the AC. So we don't have power, any power source. In this case, we cannot use this power source to supply the PoE power for the new camera. But for working with this one, we can use this PoE injector to send the power from the center to the remote PoE switch. So there's no need to power source from the edge. Okay, first thing, let me just add this PoE injector to the system. The PoE injector also needs the AC power. This is the power, AC power code. So let me just connect the PoE injector to AC power. Now I can see the indicators on, which means the PoE injector is being powered up. And the second thing is I need to use this short punch code to link the data port to our main router, so we're getting data from the router. And now I'm going to remove the cable from this router. There's one cable, this is the cable, it's connecting to the new PoE switch. So I connect this cable to the PoE port. Now the PoE injector is sending both power and data to the second router. I can see the indicators on, that means now the, new, the PoE switch is working, and I'm going to switch the punch code from the new, new PoE switch to this camera. So I can hear the motors running. I think the camera's working. Let's just wait for a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. Now the camera's live, but it's still frosty because it's a motorized zoom camera. It will take a while to find the best focus. And from here, we also can install the like this PoE access point from Cisco or the other PoE IP device. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about this setup, please leave a comment or send us the email. See you next time.